Good morning. It's Friday, 7.41 a.m., uh, the 26th of April, 2024. So glad to be back home with my Nespresso machine. You know, I've decided I've got two clear Lungo cups, you know, see-through ones. This is a regular, I don't know, maybe 8 or 10 ounce cup. Could be even 12. But I, I decided I need to get myself some smaller cups. And I love the see-through ones. So I'm going to look for some interesting ones that are more like the size of Lungo cups, which would be about six, five to six ounces. Um, I don't want espresso cups because then if I add some liquid sweetener, you know, flavoring or some milk or cream, it might overflow. But yeah, smaller than this one. However, this morning, all, my, all of my two Lungo cups from the dishwasher. So I am going to have an espresso, which is only 1.35 ounces, and in that great big cup. That's okay. So this is Istanbul Espresso. I always play this song for you guys when I have this coffee. I love this song. The only problem with it is sometimes it's hard to get out of your head. Alexa, play Istanbul. Istanbul and similar songs on Amazon Music. Alexa, make it louder. Alexa, stop. <laughs> anyway, it's such a cute song. It was written in the 1950s for <clears throat> the 500th anniversary of Constantinople, the name of it being changed to Istanbul. And it's a cute and funny song, and it's got such a catchy rhythm to it. And this coffee is Nespresso's Istanbul. And I've got some half and half. <clears throat> Let me see. Is there anything interesting on here? Okay. You know, the, one of the things I love about the Nespresso coffees is they do have a few flavored coffees. But the majority of their coffees, the reason that they taste a certain way or taste, you know, one tastes different from another is because of where they're grown how they're grown, how they're processed. It's all a natural characteristic of the coffee. It's not because something was added in. And to me, I don't know, that's exciting. You know, in a way, if you like tomatoes or apples, the, you know, different ones, they taste different. Like uh, compare a Granny Smith apple, a Macintosh, and a Gala apple three totally different kinds of flavors. And it's the same with coffee, you know? Um, so I don't know, that's, it just intrigues me. It's fun and exciting. So let's see here, is there anything on here? Okay. Um, all right, the intense ambrosial brew bursts with boldness, wild ripe fruits and delicate Almond touch. It's very, very tiny print. <laughs> and it's gold, so it's reflecting the light. Anyhow, you know what? Honestly, when it comes right down to it, what it says, 
really doesn't affect me one way or another. I mean, sometimes I think, ooh, you know, like if it says smoky or chocolatey or oaky or nutty, oh, that sounds good. If it says fruity or whiny or citrus, that eh, sounds bad. But I try it anyway. You know, and I've stopped reading the packages because sometimes it sets me up with expectations that are um, not really appropriate. And it can sort of make me skew my feeling of it. Kind of like if you have a hamburger and your friend has a steak and you're looking at that steak and thinking, oh, maybe I should have ordered steak. And you bite into that burger and you're looking at them eating that steak and you go, wait, you know, you're thinking you're going to get something that tastes like steak and it doesn't. So it's better not to set up these preconceived notions of what you expect it to taste like. And reading the packages sometimes can do that to you. Okay, here we go. Ooh. It's with the half and half like this. It's it's just like I like it. It's fun when I when I drink it. It's like it's real different than like a cup of coffee you'd get at Waffle House or Cracker Barrel or <laughs> someplace like that. And I like it. So yeah, you know, give new things a try and and go into them without preconceived notions. Now, if it was eating you know, raw insects or drinking, you know, milk mixed with blood like they do some places in Africa in the, you know, desert or whatever. It would be difficult not to immediately have preconceived notions. But with coffee, hey, I think we're a little freer in our minds. Give it a whirl. It could be really good. I'll talk to you later.